The disaster is growing as nearly two dozen wildfires are burning out of control across California. Overnight, police went door to door telling homeowners to leave Sonoma County as the next wave of flames races closer to their communities. Greg Mills is on the front line where thousands of firefighters are battling flames. Huge flames raced up and down hillsides in Northern California overnight, destroying everything in the way, including David Arnwine's home in Squaw Valley. It was all around my house, and I thought, oh, the helicopters are here and everything, and then all of a sudden, there goes the house. There, it, it was gone. Flames devoured a Kmart store here in Santa Rosa, and all firefighters could do was watch it burn. Fire officials say 22 large fires are burning across the state, and they still don't have the upper hand. We are in this fight for the long haul. Uh, it's going to continue to get worse before it gets better. The wind is the biggest concern today for firefighters. Wind gusts are expected to reach about 45 miles per hour. That'll leave entire communities in the crosshairs of the wildfire. Any change in these winds and it's pushing the, the, the fire right through this dry grass towards homes. Aerial footage showed a mail truck driving through a neighborhood that is completely gone. It's heartbreaking. It is crushing. This looks like another planet. More than 20,000 people have been evacuated, and many aren't sure if they'll have a home to come back to. Greg Mills, CBS News, Santa Rosa, California. Back here, someone's been throwing heavy rocks at cars, leaving some drivers with serious injuries. Now there's hope a $6,000 reward will encourage a tip to authorities. There have been nine instances of this happening along Bell Road between August 24th and September 23rd. Four people have been hurt so far. Victims described the rocks as large chunks of aggregate thrown from a vehicle passing by them in the opposite direction. An anonymous community group is offering the reward to find the people responsible. Call Crime Stoppers if you can help. A victim in the Las Vegas shooting is now suing the casino that housed the gunman. It's about the people who were impacted by what happened on October 1st and about the companies who should be held responsible and who have a responsibility to keep the people who are on their properties and at their events safe. 21-year-old Paige Gasper filed suit yesterday against MGM Resorts, which owns Mandalay Bay. The lawsuit claims MGM didn't properly watch people coming and going from the hotel and casino, and they didn't respond quickly enough after the first shots were fired at a security guard. This morning, more questions surrounding the timeline of the Las Vegas shooting. Mandalay Bay staff reportedly did not call police until after the gunman started shooting people at a music festival. That was six minutes after a hotel security guard was shot. A hotel engineer says he told security to call police as soon as the gunman shot that guard. Police say they'll release a new timeline tomorrow. A Pred Star is teaming up with our men and women in blue. The Metro Nashville Police Department tweeted this picture talking about their new partnership with PK Saban. The hockey players Blue Line Buddies program pairs a Metro officer with a local teenager to give them a special night at Bridgestone Arena to watch the blue and gold play. Your Western Conference champs head into tonight's matchup one and two after Tuesday's dramatic win against the Flyers. The Preds take on the Dallas Stars tonight at Bridgestone Arena and of course the puck drops at seven.